Hi everyone, welcome to Little Koala Club this week. Let's start with our breathing. Just put your pencils and paper on the table ready. Have nothing in your hands, sit, sit comfortably in your chair, rest your hands on your lap and close your eyes if you want. Take a deep breath in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. Let's try that again. This time notice how your belly moves as you breathe in and as you breathe out. And one more time. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Let's just sit for a minute and breathe normally. Notice how your body feels. I'm going to stop talking for a moment so you can just listen to your breath. Remember that slowing your breath down like this will help you feel calm when you're feeling worried or anxious. Breathing in through your nose and slowly out through your mouth. You can have any two, any two colours you like. I'm going to start with an orange one. Okay. This time, last week we did some breath drawing and we did it with waves. Today we were doing it a little bit. This time, when you breathe in, you're going to do a loop and then come down and breathe out. So breathe in and out. I can do a red one. You can do red. You can do any colour you like. In breath, out breath. In breath, out breath. In breath, out breath, and then you might change colors and follow those same lines. In breath, out breath, in breath, out, in, out, in, out, and in. Okay, I'll leave you to do two more of those so one more set of orange and one more set of red or whatever colors you've chosen so off you go thinking about your breathing as you're doing it so you can make some wobbly shapes at the top there and wobbly shapes at the bottom i'm gonna draw like two well, yeah draw them the same and then change your color but I, I used the not blue. That's fine, you can use blue. I'm 
drawing inside my breath this time like I'm breathing and drawing inside we have time I'll do one more look I'm going to do some problems. so we're really focusing on our pencil we're not thinking about school we're thinking about the pencil and the colors thinking about our breath what's in my color okay that's good like i might have changed this time it's brown and okay drawing your lines I'll give you a couple more seconds to finish that close your eyes so everybody close their eyes no talking we're going to be really quiet and still okay what I want you to do is imagine that there is a tiny space right in the middle of your head. A tiny space where there's no noise and no movement. It's completely silent. This is your own secret place, which you can come to whenever you like. Nobody can come in because the door is right inside your mind and they wouldn't be able to find it. It's a place that only you can come to when you want to be alone and quiet. It's your private place. Can you open the door inside your mind and step into your quiet place? It feels lovely sitting in here. Imagine the chair you're sitting in, enjoying the peace and the quiet. Take a deep breath in. Ah, and sigh as you breathe out. You feel at peace sitting in your favourite chair, in your cosy spot, in your quiet space. Okay, what I'd like you to do now is to draw. is made up of two words, Zen meaning calm, and tangle, which means a collection of overlapping patterns. So it's like all a tangle. And Zen tangle, when you bring it together, means it's calm and a pattern. Because you'll find once you're doing these sorts of patterns, it gives you a sense of calm because you get so interested in what you're doing. How many different lines you can make. So you might make some wavy lines. You might make some zigzag lines. You might make some swirly curly lines. Off you go. See how many different types of lines and how many different colours you can use. I know. Maybe you just <laughs> random lines just going anywhere. I can choose whatever line I want. Yeah, see how many different types of lines you can do. But if it's a double line. What is that? I'm just doing curly lines. No, it's it's someone saying something. No. They look, kind of look like letters, but they're not. Okay, let me get a darker colour. What's this one? I'm going to do some lines on top of each other. Don't forget to do some dotted lines. Dots. Lots of different things we can do. I'm doing these lines. Yeah, lots of different lines. Okay, so far I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different lines. Who's got up to ten lines? I haven't got on to ten lines. No? We've got curvy lines, we've got jagged lines, we've got broken lines, we've got swirly lines. I think I like the swirly lines the best. What's your favourite line? lines yeah yeah if i have a pen that choose every color. what about stefan and Aleska? what are your favorite lines 
the curly um, ones or the zigzags? Curly lines. Curly, curly. lines. Yeah. I like the way it feels when you do curly lines. Don't forget to use your pencil soft as well, okay, because you can make different effects by making it darker and darker. Might try dark to start with and then light. That looks like waves. Oh, waves. I haven't done wavy lines. I haven't said waves. I haven't really done many wavy lines. And then I could turn my pencil on its side a little. To do I'm going to do scribble lines. Shaded lines. I'm doing a scribble line. Yeah, you can do a scribble yeah. line. It's a type of line. Okay, okay. So we've, we've got lots of lines on our page. So turn over to the other half now. And pick a dark, pick a dark colour. I'm going to use a black pencil for mine. Doesn't matter, you can use a purple. And what I want you to do is draw a line across the middle. Okay, so can you just fold this one and do it there? Yep. I just, I just turned my piece of paper over. So I turned it over, I'm using half on this side. So I've got a line across the middle. And then we're going to do a curvy line there. Get a new sheet. Curvy line there. No, she's off there, like around. Has everyone got those three lines on their page? You can take a new sheet. Oh, well, you're supposed to get a new sheet. Around. Well, why is it supposed to get a new sheet? We all got that? Yep. Yep. Excellent. Yep. Let me just. Okay, so in our first square or our first shape, seems lots of people like wavy lines. I'm going to use a nice dark blue, and I'm we're going to do some wavy lines. So practice doing some wavy lines for me. <coughs> I'm pressing nice and dark. With my pencil. Okay, so feel that your pencil you're pressing really heavy. You're doing nice dark waves in our first section. Okay, tell me when you've done that part. Okay, have we done that? No. Not yet? Okay, keep going. Done that. Stefan and Leska, yeah. have you done that? No, not yet. I did it. Okay, tell me when you're done and we can go on to the next part. So we're going to make this little shape a little bit more interesting by doing done. some shading in another color but i'm only going to press light so it's like it's sketching it in and i'm doing short little sketchy lines but we're only, only doing every second one we've really got white then we've got green, i've got green stripes you can have whatever stripes you want and then i can put some stripes it's a nice then we love the waves so we're filling in the green in there Oh, we have the colour inside. Yeah, I'm doing it with lines. See? Yeah. So, just nice, soft. Not pressing hard with the pencil this time. We're pressing nice and soft with the pencil so we can practice our shading techniques. Done. Beautiful. Okay. Oh. When when you've done that, pick your next colour. We're going to do... Um, is it purple? Mine's a red. Done. Okay, so I've done kind of like a triangle shape in there. This time we're going to fill it with lots of zigzaggy zig shapes. So let me find another colour. I might use a dark colour. One go. Purple. Okay, so we're going to do zigzags. I'm using a black in mine. It's a dry red. 
fill up zigzags and then we're going to do some zigzags this way don't forget to change direction because lines don't always go the same direction especially pink zigzag are you using black i'm using a black i thought it might look nice with my bright pink and i'm going to do zigzags across here i use the black pink white pink for for the red okay yeah that's all right you don't have to do the same colors as me it's up to you done okay just wait till everyone's done so remember this is called a zen tangle a zen tangle okay are all three of us ready yes yep okay next one we're going to start with a spiral and i'm going to press hard to start with so it's Why? nice and dark and i'm going lighter and lighter and lighter with my pencil as i go around and okay I'm don't forget, it can go off the page a little, so you can go back and fill in the bits that are off the page. Um, I, think I did a really big one. Good. This time, I'm going. I'm going to do just. I'm going to try and make mine look like it's rounded. I'm doing curvy lines this time. Curvy lines going around. If you curve them, it starts to look a bit 3D. Helmet. Looks a bit like a snail shell, doesn't it? Yeah. We have to do it all around it. But just a little bit, just to, to have a practice of it. I just want to do it all around. Yeah, you can do it all the way around. So Zen Tangle is just about making up your own patterns and colouring them how you want. Now we've used wavy lines, we've used jagged lines, we've used spirally curly lines. We haven't done our open and closed lines. We might do some of those next. So let me choose two new colours. Which colour are you using? I might use red and I've got this yellowy sort of colour. A bit more a skip colour. But... Yellowy colour, sort of yellow colour. Yeah. So, everybody up to the next one? No. no. Yes. Yeah. Everyone's ready? Okay. This one, we, we are going to do, I'm going to do big lines with dots and I'm going to swap. Now I'm going to do a line and the dot's going to be in a different spot. And then, to, and then I'm going to try and make the red the same as my first red. So I have to really look closely. I really have to focus. And then I have to do this the same as my other one. That's good. You can see the yellow up quite well. Okay, so I'm thinking now I've got to think red. Yours might be a different colour. That's fine. And I'm really thinking where I'm putting these lines. No. Okay. That's it. Take your time. No rush. Just focusing on where I'm placing it. Trying to make sure my dots line up. It's also good practice for drawing straight lines without a ruler, isn't it? Drawing lines. But I have to really think because I have to draw it so it looks the same. That's it, keep going. Move mine out of shadow a little. Done. Excellent. I can hear that you're concentrating really well. Me? Yeah, I can hear because everybody stopped talking. 
then I know you're really focusing on what you're doing. Well done. Okay. Hi. Who's got a suggestion for our next box? What can we do in our next box? Blended. Any ideas? No. Think about our other lines we did. Yeah, the other lines. I want to do the broken one. The broken Dotted line. lines? The, what, sorry? Stefan? Dotted lines? Dotted lines? Okay, let's try some dotted lines. Okay, so we're just going to do some dots. Okay, you're doing some dots. And then we could do something interesting in between our dots when we've done our dots. Oh, my dots are going to be crooked. Okay, my dots there are all even. I'm going to make my other dots come over to the side. I'm doing some dots going in a different direction. Okay, so last week we talked a bit about some colours. This week we're talking more about lines, different types of lines. Okay, my lines are radiating out on that side. And now I'm going to use a different colour. Actually, I might use a purpley colour. purpley colour. And I'm going to do some weaving in and out of my lines. Purple, um, Mama, I need a purpley colour. I need a purpley colour. Doesn't matter which colour you use. Whatever you've got. See if you can go in and out without touching your circles. I'm going to go in and out this side. Nice, nice and slow around each circle. So don't forget to take notice of what your breath is doing. Make sure you're stopping every so often. Take a deep breath in and relax while you're doing our drawing. Oh, that's quite an interesting pattern. I like that one. We started off with our dots and we've changed it. Okay, when you get up to it, the last box is up to you to do. So I'll give you a couple of minutes and you can do whatever lines you like. I'm not done. That's all right. Keep going. 